uh, we have uh, discussed uh, feedback linearization and we learned that uh, feedback linearization is an exact linearization we get an exact linear representation of a nonlinear system and uh, you already know that uh, design of control for linear system uh, there are uh, well developed and systematic approaches and uh, therefore uh, we can uh, utilize for example state feedback control to uh, design controller for nonlinear systems using feedback linearization uh, you already remember that there are multiple important uh, control problems two uh, major uh, control problems uh, these are the stabilization problem and the tracking problem what is stabilization problem uh, in for stabilization problem what do you want is uh, for a dynamic system you want to design a control law such that the origin of uh, this particular nonlinear system is asymptotically stable this is called stabilization problem and uh, this kind of control uh, is called static control the here gamma is some nonlinear function of state variables so this kind of control is called uh, static control compared to that there is uh, there are also uh, dynamic control techniques where the uh, this control uh, law that is given by another dynamic systems uh, but over here uh, we are talking about static control second important point is that here uh, we want to uh, uh, stabilize the system at origin but that is not mandatory we can even solve the stabilization problem uh, to stabilize the system at some another uh, arbitrary point xss uh, but anyway uh, this problem that is the stabilization at this uh, point that can be transformed into this stabilization problem that is simple you already know we shall define some state transformation that will bring this point at origin and then we shall solve the stabilization problem for that system and for that purpose uh, you can define a new state variable x delta to be equal to actual state variable minus uh, this point at which we want to stabilize uh, the system and likewise uh, you can define a new control input and uh, in new variables the new state variables the same system is given over here uh, which is some in other function of new state variables x delta and new control input uh, u delta and solving uh, the stabilization problem for this system that is uh, stabilizing the states of this system at origin means stabilizing the states of uh, this nonlinear system at this particular point so this is uh, the stabilization problem the second important control problem is tracking problem what is tracking problem you want the output of the system to track uh, to follow some uh, control input uh, some reference input uh, we define uh, an error signal which is uh, the difference of the output uh, minus the reference signal and if we uh, want if we uh, ensure that error converges to uh, zero at t tends to infinity that will mean that this output will approach the reference signal that is output will track the reference signal so th this is the tracking problem and in today's lecture we are going to talk about these two uh, important control problems and uh, feedback linearization uh, we know that uh, there are systematic approaches uh, to design controllers to solve these two problems for linear systems and feedback linearization that gives you an exact linear representation of nonlinear system therefore uh, feedback linearization is a useful technique so we have uh, briefly talked about the stabilization problem in our earlier lectures uh, let's uh, revise uh, uh, these concepts uh, if you are given with this nonlinear system uh, and uh, if a full state linearization is possible then this nonlinear system can be brought into this normal form so if system is full state linearizable uh, it can be brought into this form and by definition of an appropriate control law we can uh, have a linear representation of this nonlinear system and uh, for this uh, 
nonlinear uh, this uh, linear representation uh, we can use uh, linear control theory for example we can apply state feedback control uh, and uh, this k is determined such that uh, this matrix uh, is Hurwitz that is this matrix has all eigenvalues in the left half S plane and uh, you have uh, studied uh, the MATLAB commands and other techniques to find such a k and uh, therefore the overall control law is uh, given by this expression so if uh, full state linearization is possible uh, this is the uh, uh, control law which will ensure the asymptotic stability of the equilibrium point of uh, this nonlinear system and uh, the second case that we studied is that when full state linearization is not possible you can obtain partial uh, state uh, linearization these states are uh, can be linearized and uh, these states uh, these are called internal dynamics and if we define this control law the same system is brought into this part particular form a uh, linear part and uh, a nonlinear expression and these uh, uh, dynamics are called internal dynamics uh, for this part of uh, the system uh, again we can uh, use define state feedback control you, we can use state feedback control uh, that is given by this expression uh, again this k matrix is found to make this matrix Hurwitz uh, so this is the uh, overall control law uh, however uh, we need to ensure that these internal dynamics are also stable so with this control law uh, we have uh, these dynamics and the internal dynamics these dynamics are stable because we have uh, uh, we have found k in such a way that this matrix is Hurwitz uh, but we need to ensure the uh, stability of internal dynamics and for that purpose we had studied a theorem a lemma which states that origin of the closed loop system of this uh, system is asymptotically stable if origin of zero dynamics is asymptotically stable what are zero dynamics zero dynamics are obtained from these internal dynamics by substituting uh, this xi to be equal to zero if we substitute xi equal to zero we get zero dynamics and if origin of zero dynamics is asymptotically stable then this overall system will be uh, the, uh, the origin of this overall system will be asymptotically stable uh, here there is another very important point uh, which needs uh, to be discussed uh, you know that uh, this control law was devised to cancel this nonlinearity however there is uh, uh, a, a, a problem that is uh, exact mathematical model of, of physical processes is not always exactly known it means that this cancellation will not be exact some part of these nonlinearities will not be cancelled we are not going to study those effects in this course uh, if you are more interested in the study of the effect of those modeling uncertainties then you can uh, refer to your textbook uh, for a more detailed study but anyway the this is a problem with the, this uh, feedback linearization based control technique uh, maybe you are assuming that uh, all the nonlinearities are cancelled but actually uh, this nonlinearity there will be uncertainties in it and uh, those uncertainties will not be exactly cancelled and uh, therefore uh, uh, this control uh, will not be 100% applicable however you already know that uh, control uh, feedback control uh, has uh, this uh, advantage that uh, it is robust against uncertainties it is robust against uncertainties so to how much extent these uncertainties and uh, modeling mismatch can be handled uh, if uh, you can uh, study it from this a book so is that clear uh, we have already uh, solved the stabilization problem for uh, this magnetic suspension system this was nonlinear uh, we had obtained uh, uh, 
a normal form representation of this uh, system and then by defining this control law we had linear representation and uh, by use of state feedback control uh, you had uh, defined this control law uh, there were some typos uh, in this control law which are still there so you need to correct these uh, typos and uh, we had also simulated this system and verified that this controller is uh, working appropriately so in uh, in that example what you had done is uh, you had uh, stabilized uh, the dynamics at origin but that, that is not uh, uh, always the case uh, you can also stabilize uh, the uh, states uh, at uh, not necessarily at origin but maybe at some other point so this is your homework you have to stabilize uh, the same system at uh, x1 equal to 0 0.05 meter and uh, perform uh, the MATLAB simulations to verify your design controller you have to do that this this is not your assignment uh, but you have to do it there is uh, another assignment for you don't worry so there is uh, uh, the second problem is the tracking problem where you want uh, the output to track uh, reference uh, signal and uh, uh, if you ensure this error uh, uh, it if it turns uh, to zero then the output will track the input so we uh, discussed this second tracking problem again uh, this uh, nonlinear system and uh, we want uh, to op uh, first we shall obtain input output linearization then we studied two different uh, cases uh, if uh, uh, relative degree is equal to the dimension of the state vector then you not only had uh, the f uh, input output linearization but you also have full st uh, full state linearization and uh, uh, the second case was when relative degree was less than n in that case what was the situation you had uh, input output linearization but there were some internal dynamics which were nonlinear so this case uh, is uh, more general compared to this one uh, therefore uh, we shall uh, talk about uh, this particular case to discuss the tracking problem that will also cover uh, this uh, type of uh, the system so here is uh, the normal form representation uh, of a nonlinear system uh, and uh, tracking problem what is tracking problem output asymptotically tracks reference signal uh, r of t there are a few assumptions uh, the first assumption is that uh, f naught of 0 0 is equal to 0 that is for these internal dynamics origin uh, is the equilibrium point so you see that this uh, does not cause any loss of generality because uh, if uh, origin is not uh, the equilibrium point for this these internal dynamics you can again define a state transformation to transform uh, the equilibrium point of the system at origin and uh, we had already learned in our previous lectures that uh, if uh, we take uh, phi i's uh, such that phi i of 0 is equal to 0 then that will uh, result into uh, uh, origin to be the equilibrium point of these internal dynamics we had discussed it over there so if you have appropriately selected phi i's such that phi i of 0 is equal to 0 then uh, this uh, origin will be the equilibrium point of these internal dynamics but if it is not the case then you can again define another state transformation the second assumption is that uh, the uh, reference signal and its derivatives up to its uh, rho derivative these are bounded uh, the third assumption is that uh, the reference signal and its derivatives up to its rho derivative these are available online because the, this uh, reference signal and its derivatives will be utilized in the control law so these should be available these should be measurable so again this uh, assumption is in many cases uh, uh, this is not a very restrictive assumption because in most of the cases uh, this uh, reference signal the signal that you want to track 
is uh, generated by your uh, for example computer and its derivatives can be easily uh, these are available these can be easily uh, measured so with these assumptions uh, what we do is that we define uh, this error signal to be equal to this uh, state vector xi minus this vector what is this vector reference signal and its derivatives up to uh, rho minus first so we define this so this uh, xi is over here we have named this vector as a uh, vector r so e is equal to xi minus r and hence the same system the same system uh, in terms of uh, newly defined variable that is given over here eta dot is equal to f naught of eta and what is xi xi is equal to uh, e plus r that is written over here and what is e dot e dot is equal to xi dot minus uh, r dot so uh, some intermediate steps are missing over here you can verify that this e dot will come out to be this expression so uh, this uh, nonlinear system uh, represented with newly defined uh, state variable e that is given over here and uh, uh, if we uh, define this control law uh, then the same system is represented over here eta dot is uh, these dynamics are written as it is over here and e dot is uh, ace plus bcv because this control law cancels these uh, nonlinear terms so if we solve the stabilization problem for this nonlinear system that will be actually the tracking problem if uh, E converges asymptotically to the equilibrium point at origin, then that means that the output uh, will attract the reference signal. So we have already talked about stabilization problem for this particular uh, kind of nonlinear uh, non system. So you can easily solve the stabilization problem and that will be the tracking problem. Uh, and you see that this control law that uh, requires uh, the derivative of the uh, reference signal uh, and uh, also here v how to determine v this v uh, will be uh, for example you can use state feedback control and uh, v will be equal to minus k multiplied by e and e what is e e uh, uses these uh, uh, these uh, state variables as well as uh, the reference input and its derivatives so the control law will need uh, the derivatives of the uh, this reference input uh, here is your assignment you have to solve the tracking problem for the magnetic suspension system uh, what you want is that the output of uh, this uh, nonlinear system magnetic suspension system asymptotically tracks uh, this reference signal uh, so procedure is simple you will convert this tracking problem into the stabilization problem once you have the stabilization problem you already know how to solve this stabilization problem so this was the whole discussion about uh, ex exact linearization uh, and uh, it is a powerful technique very powerful technique uh, there are a few limitations uh, first limitation that we discussed earlier is that solution of partial differential equations uh, that is basically actually not a limit limitation but a difficulty so solution of partial dif differential equations is sometimes difficult and uh, the second uh, limitation of this approach is uh, handling of uh, uncertainties but again you can design some robust uh, linear control to handle those uh, uncertainties as well so in the next lecture we shall uh, start another very important uh, topic that is uh, the sliding mode control and uh, sliding mode control is uh, again a very powerful technique it has uh, many advantages uh, firstly its implementation is uh, much more simpler and secondly uh, sliding mode control is robust against 
uh, uncertainties. We shall later talk about two kind of uncertainties, matched uncertainties and unmatched uncertainties. So uh, starting mode control is robust against matched uncertainties. That is very powerful technique and we shall uh, start discussion in the next lecture inshallah.